Hi guys, welcome to today's videos. As you can see in the title, it's Alphalee. I know, I know, you guys may think there are millions and tens of reviews flying left and right. Why should you watch me? Girl, listen, I had the revival leggings before. I wasn't very impressed. I honestly hated it. The sizing is off. I had a small and it felt like it was gonna rip in any minute. The fabric is very stiff and rough to the skin like a cardboard. I don't know why people said it's soft because maybe I got a faulty pair. I don't know, but it felt like it was really rough. The waistband was not as high as like like two. It hit like at the belly button, but I prefer a, like an inch or have an inch above. It rise up front and back. Yes, I just said front and back. Two reasons why I give them another chance. One, because the design. I love the design. The contour line is just like perfect amount of the contour. It's not like on your face. And two, they came out with a new fabric. I know people say they double the yarn, blah, 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 but nobody actually mentioned they completely changed the fabric, which we will get into in a minute. So I thought I would give them a try. If I don't like them, I'll just return them since the return process is awesome. I've returned a hoodie before, so I shipped it out on Friday. They got it by Monday and I got my refund that day, which is awesome. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know, whether or not it's worth your money, whether or not it's what you're looking for, you decide for yourself. And my measurements is out in the description box below, as well as the sizes that I wear. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open this up, girls. I only have bottom to show you guys today because I feel like I can wear any tops or any sports bra, but I am more particular when it comes to bottoms. I ordered ultra purple in a small and a medium and I returned the one that don't fit. Also, I have two pairs of shorts from the old launch. Both are in a size small. I am nervous. They might not fit. But excuse my greedy ass, they were on sales, so I snapped them without thinking twice. So I'm going to be trying these on in a minute. Before we get into the try on portion, I want to show you guys a close up. Here is a small and a medium side by side. The small ones look really tiny in person. But I am not worried. I am not worried. I have a medium for backup this time. Right off the bat, they are really, really soft. I gotta give them that. They're really soft. Here, I just want to show you guys a comparison between a size small to the Align size 4 because I feel like most people know their size in Lululemon. Can you see the difference? It's like an inch smaller than the Align. The waistband is about the same thickness and it's an inch shorter at the bottom and the Align is 25 inches. This is a medium revival and the Align size 4 at the bottom there. Sizing wise, they seem identical. I am, I am trying to show you guys how thick the Revival is. I mean, I saw reviews saying it's soft and thin like the Align. Like, girl, what are you talking about? I mean, it is soft, like really, really soft, but not like the Align. However, the Align is geared toward the comfort, but the Revival R6 fabric is more, more of a performance fabric, I should say. So these are the two shorts in the size small. I had Revival shorts before, but in a medium, and they fit perfectly. These two, I might have to break them in. So I pick a Werewolf Sensation shorts in a size small compared to the Revival shorts, also in a size small. As you can see, it tapers in at the waistband. I hope they won't squeeze in my belly fat. Here is the size medium R6 and the shorts in a small. From the look of the waistband, they look very identical. But side note guys, the fabric is completely different. The old fabric is very stiff. 
the new one is a lot stretchier, like a lot, a lot stretchier. So I just want to show you guys real quick the fabric content of the old version. This is the old one. It's made out of cotton elastane, which explains why I hated it. Girl, whenever I buy activewear online, first thing first I check is the fabric content. When I see cotton, I take a step back, okay? Now this is a new fabric. It doesn't look very high-waisted on the model, which I was skeptical at first. Here is the fabric content. It's made of polyester spandex. That is amazing. Polyester elastane. Spandex elastane, same thing, right? Is it? Somebody tell me. I like how they have their logo knitted in the fabric. We can breathe a little easy when you wash it and it's not going to come off. All these old and new have an oval crutch gusset. Just want to point it out just in case you're curious. Okay, now look at that wonky seam. The newer one doesn't seem to have a problem. I guess they fixed that. Let's start off with the lilac shorts. I'm just trying to fix the bobby crotch here just by twisting the seams out. I'm actually surprised that this fit me without squeezing in anywhere. And the wonky front seams seems to disappear too. I can actually see the tags on, so no, they're not squat proof. The fact that the fabric is so stiff, it actually makes the shorts stay put and don't ride up during squats. See? They stay up. I don't have the new shorts since they sold out instantly, but I'm concerned that they might not stay put like the old versions because the new fabric is softer, like a lot softer. Okay, I can see the wonky seams in the front now. I wear white thong underneath everything I tried on today. This one fits exactly the same as the previous one because obviously they're the same size. They don't dig in anywhere, did not dig in on my thigh, my hips, my belly fats or anything. And I don't see any wonky seams so far which is good. There's a bobby crotch but I don't really care much as long as it doesn't ride up in between. But if you do care, just know you will get it. Right now you don't see it but as soon as you move, it will come back. This looks squat proof to me. I already like this pair. I don't know why I had this pair before but I did not like it. But this one fits really nice. It rise up a tiny bit. I mean, that's very little compared to other shorts that I've, I have tried. The wonky seam comes back again there in the front. Up next is the Revival R6 in a size small. Go! Putting these on takes some effort. Make sure you're not in a hurry. But once they are on, you have to make sure that the contour lines and the ripping or ridging or whatever are even on both sides. Otherwise, they will look weird. Now that they are on, I can already tell that they're not as tight as the version 3 that I had. The length is perfect. I am 5'3 and I don't have to roll them up at all. And I'm telling you, I have to roll most of my leggings up. It's a little tight on my legs, but I'm not suffocated, if that makes sense. Just a tiny bit of bobby crotch, but whatever. So as far as I can tell, they're squat proof. They are movable. They are very stretchy. I'm pretty sure you can do splits in these if you want. Look at how softer the fabric is compared to the old fabric. The old ones just hung like a cardboard. And you can see some weight to the new fabric. Now this is the aligned shorts for comparison. See what I'm talking about? Yes, they are softer than the old fabric, but not as soft as the Align. One thing I personally personally don't like is how the shiny the fabric look. I saw Hannah Gashka reviews the other day, like after I placed my order, and it looks so shiny in her video. I'm like, no, not again. But I gotta say, they don't look as bad as the red ones that I had, but, but it's there, just a little bit. 
stretching as is out of this world, guys. You can probably stretch them to the moon. Just kidding. But yeah, the new fabric is very, very stretchy. This is a medium one I'm trying to put on here. It's a bit easier to put on than a small, but yeah, there's still a little bit work there. I like how these fit on my legs. It feels a lot more comfortable and movable. However, the waistband kind of gape a tiny, tiny bit, as you can see there. It's like it flares out at the top. Also squat proof, as far as I can tell. The seams in the crotch gusset is very, very stretchy, guys. Like, as you can see. It's not as shiny as the small ones, which is nice. Probably because the fabric didn't stretch out as much. Maybe if it like tapered just the waistband a little bit like that, just like half an inch, it would be perfect. Because I like how it fits everywhere else except the waistband. <sighs> okay guys, I still have no idea what size I should be keeping. If I keep a small, it fits fine on the waist, but it's tight on the legs. If I keep a medium, it fits perfectly on the legs, but it's like too loose on the waist. Or maybe I should keep it small and it will lose up over time. Anyway, oh, one last thing I want to mention is the shipping. Guys, I placed an order on Wednesday and I sent the tracking information on Thursday the day they ship. Throughout Thursday, I checked UPS website multiple times, millions and tens of times. I checked UPS website, checked the tracking number, and the whole day the status was label created and wait for the scan. So throughout the day, the, the, the status stayed the same. So I was pretty annoyed that day. Friday came, I checked the UPS website again and again and again multiple times. The status has not changed. So I was going to contact customer service, Alpha Lead, where's my package? You know that my package stuck at your warehouse. I was going to contact them. But then the UPS guy came, rang the doorbell, dropped something and left. I was like, what? Am I expecting something else? Oh, it's probably my husband's package. He likes to order his wrestling, boxing stuff. It's probably his. So I pick it up. It was mine. I was like, what? And it's Alpha Lead. I was confused. I just checked the UPS website a minute ago. How did it teleport it here already? So I went back to the UPS website and the status had not changed. It has not been scanned at all. It's probably waiting for the scan still right now, a week after. So yeah, I got my package. I'm happy. End of the story. So yeah, that is it. I hope you find it somehow helpful. I don't know if my video is helpful at all, but <laughs> like and subscribe still and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.